What's going on guys, welcome back to Let's Talk About The Dead and in today's video I'm interviewing Mo Collins who plays Sarah and this is my first big, big, you know, big cast member from any of the um, spin-off shows so it's going to be pretty fun to talk to my first main character on the show I mean, I've, you know, you know, I've met, I've met loads of the cast members before but this is my first interview of one and hopefully it goes well I will send her the email now, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you for being here. Thank you for being, thank you for being the first main character to come onto the show. Somebody had to do it, right? <laughs> Paved um, the way to greatness. Yes, lucky my, my, my lucky my lucky number is seven, and this is episode. That's seven. my lucky no. number. Really? My birthday is seven seven. Ah, that's easy. That's easy to remember because mine's five five. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's May fifth. Oh, cool. Nice. How's the UK? It's getting better here. I think we're we're getting new rules and and yeah. restrictions are getting eased not no like texas no the mask mandate that's <laughs> that. and, no texas denial straight uh, up denial just incredible that's, i think i said oh, it's just shared, I was like, it's yeah. just uh it's it's kind of unbelievable the sad thing is that you know there will be people like myself who will continue to wear a mask and be smart yeah. about it, but it gives those people that don't want to wear it, they're going to bully us. I just know it. They're going to bully us. It gives them the right, right? Like, mm, you pussy with your mask. Oh, yeah, you shit. It's not cool. It's just, it's just a mask. It's, they, I like the That's big... all it is. I mean, it's not even, it's really not even an inconvenience. It's really not. No. Especially when it's so, cold, it, it keeps your yeah. face warmer, which, I, which that's what I like. To be honest, no, that's that's actually true. It is. It's sort of cozy. Yeah, so <laughs> in the right got weather. Back, I'm like oh, freezing, so I've got that arm big coat on, then your mask, and just you don't really feel but it. No, no, it's much better. These are the upsides. So yeah. yeah, there's you know there's benefits of all this really. There is, I and been. I. I, I even think I, I would, I mean, I don't think I'd be surprised if I kept wearing a mask, like when I fly and stuff, you know, just yeah. always like, it's just sort of like, eh, it's not a big deal. You know, the masks are the least thing to worry about. If, oh you know, my God. It's so, it's such a nothing. Yeah. Cause I could quite up yeah. mask. when I try, when I fly again, I'm like, eh. You know, it's yeah. If, yeah. Got not a big deal loads of well, quite a lot of walking dead questions and then because i don't realize you were in jingle all the way for like i guess it was a scene for a second oh really it was literally like yeah in fact it was the first it was my first time yeah. on a film set and it was up in minnesota where i'm from and um did they cut my line i only had like one or two lines, I think they might have even cut my line. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. You and that, like, that's, you know, that's one of the, the best Christmas movies. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, I wouldn't say it was like the greatest, you know, experience. <laughs> it wasn't the dream you thought it would be, you know, it was like Schwarzenegger barely looked at me and, you know, just, and I was stunned at how short he was and it was all just very, very interesting. What was cool was seeing the snow and it, cause it was shot in summer or something or not snow season. And that was movie magic to me to see that space with the snow. It's like, oh, this is, that's cool. But as far as the experience, it was just sort of like, mm. <laughs> not, <basic> not, great. <laughs> not, not really inspiring, I would say, but that was my first film. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. gotta start somewhere. It's true, yeah, you've gotta start somewhere. Cause I've, no, I, is is Mad TV like a SNL kind of thing? I wasn't sure. What it I, is. I've 
been watching yeah. Lorraine and she's just so funny. Yes, she is. She's she's uh she's a good Muppet. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was were those were very good years. That was really a lot of fun. You know, it was just getting to be anything and getting to be ridiculous. It was wonderful. How did wow. that uh, come about? Would you just is that your I, my, my background is is in sketch and improv. And so when that audition came up, it was really the only way I could get into Hollywood. You know, it's like I had the the experience for that audition, but for other stuff, you know, I just I wouldn't have gotten the audition because I didn't have the experience. So it was just the perfect audition and pretty much within the first year I moved to LA that came along so it was very fortunate really really lucky yeah, that's good. but I was ready to be that lucky yeah no you've I guess you know you've worked so hard to get I that. have I had worked my butt off worked my butt off just um yeah I've been doing sketch and improv since eighth grade so a long time so did, yeah it was the right job for me did you always want to do acting no I didn't. I didn't know I wanted to be an actor. I wouldn't have dreamed of it, to be honest, for myself. I really wouldn't have um, come from a, you know, just a sort of basic suburb in Minneapolis and Minnesota. And uh, I mean, when I was a little kid, oddly, I wanted to be a truck driver. All right. So some dreams come true. Just not how, oh, I know, simpatico. Um, yeah, I did not know in what form that would show up. But uh, there she is. Um, and yeah, I, I thought I was going to be um, an artist. You know, I, I yeah. paint. And so I really kind of thought that that's where I would be. But I didn't know that actually it's just my artistry. I am an artist. It's yeah. just I'm, I'm more of an artist than I guess I, I thought yeah. was possible. But yeah, it wasn't until, oh, I guess I was 19 when I started remembering this stuff I loved to do back in junior high and high school, which was the sketch and improv. And I went, oh, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. And I didn't know where I was going. I'd been kicked out of college at this point. And um, so I took classes at a place and next thing you know, I was hired there and there's a check that came with it. And it's like, what? I guess this is what I'll do. The agent showed up at the show and next thing you knew I had a commercial and just sort of you know it was just sort of it feels accidental yeah. for me um that I became a professional actor it's just sort of that's where my life let me do stuff yeah. it just it just flourished it just one thing after another kept happening in that way and and you went oh yeah I do want to be an actor and yeah Everything, everything, like I believe everything happens for a reason. Like, it's, I don't know if it's destiny, but it's definitely, you know, something could trigger. Yeah. Future in. It is. Well, you know, I mean, I was way too shy as a kid to think I could ever be an actor. And then, like I say, just sort of um, my parents were very conservative. And I don't know, that kind of a dream wasn't, didn't seem realistic, you know, for girl in Minnesota it was just sort of too far out there and I I at that point in my life wasn't aware that we should dream <laughs> that was the problem I wasn't I wasn't really made to be aware that that's what we should do while we're here on earth yeah. we should dream definitely yeah yeah um, for the rain was was that all just you because you know, I never really <laughs> knew who, who you know uh, mad tv was but i've just been i was just at work and i just just crying up laughing how fun just the noise is and just <laughs> the way you are it's just so funny she's wonderful i she's um she's I, the inspiration of her just came from um growing up in minnesota you know she's just this women were like that <laughs> you know? and like the little uh, that she does you know it's sort of um up there it's like people they don't tell how they feel a lot up there you know but they just have small talk do you know what small talk is yeah. and um 
sometimes I would notice that people would just sort of <clears throat> make noises as if to continue the conversation, like to say, I'm still here. <laughs> so she started, that's sort of where that came from, odd. But, um, but yeah, she's a direct result of having grown up in Minnesota. But it's funny how many people just, especially from the Midwest are like, oh, that's, she's just like my aunt, you know, <laughs> everybody's like, I know her. So she's, she's universal to the Midwest. Can we now would never have found out if you know because we have we were getting proud of SNL and the other ones, but never on the I've never heard of my TV, I guess because I don't know, think we aired there. Yeah. Yeah, I know that um just recently it just went on to all this most of the seasons or all almost all went on to HBO Max. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so all of a sudden there's a resurgence too. Like I'm all of a sudden getting a lot more people. Um you know, an Instagram or whatever that are like, oh my God, this sketch. And it's like, wow, I'd forgotten about that. That's 23 years ago. <laughs> you know, it's, wow. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, but it's fun to remember because it's, I, I mean, it's, I can't believe how much I've forgotten. But uh, you do so much. Huh? Like, you do so much, and then you just. So much. Yeah, yeah. So much. I mean, it was a comedy factory. You know, we did. Um, we did 26 shows per season, you know? So that was at least eight sketches a week we were doing too. So just, it was a factory, comedy factory, but what a playground, unbelievable. Be. But what I'm loving, I love that you love Lorraine because you're from the UK. And so it's interesting to me that something about her translates for you. It, it, just, it was just how funny she is. And just like I said, the noises and just, she just kicks stuff and it's just. But that's the physical comedy. Like physical comedy is such a universal comedy, yeah. you know. So I, I I love that you picked up on her. That that gives me joy. I'm glad. No, she. I just. Yeah. Now I'm gonna watch more. Just if I can find it somewhere. Like if it comes to our Netflix, because our Netflix is rubbish compared to yours. Yes. Yeah, we don't get. We don't get like we don't get Walking Dead. We don't get. I don't get why we we get it on Fox or something, but we don't get half the shows you get on Netflix. Where are you in the UK? I'm I'm in Plymouth, which is is down at the bottom. It is the UK and nowhere like you're it's like funny because the, man, that's so interesting to me because I know like Germany has always gotten a lot of American shows, we, even though I think it's not Netflix, which is weird. Yeah, I watch a lot of British shows. Like that's, we, we have what's called Acorn TV, which is all the British. Oh, Cause yeah. I just think their, their shows, especially their dramas, they're just so, the storytelling is so rich, so much richer in some ways. They're so good, the series, ooh, I love them. Which, uh, which, which shows do you watch there? Oh, British like shows? Broad Church, Happy Valley. Oh, Broad Church is amazing. I mean, come on so good so good um and what's the one actually that um lenny james did uh, duties something uh, duty i think line, what's that line of duty i think is it line of duty i think so great series and they're short like they don't overdo it you know it's like when the series is done it's done they don't they don't push it yeah which is which is Sometimes it's good there, sometimes it's bad. Like, you know, like, I exactly. love it. Like, every, every spin-off of The Walking Dead's Over has been amazing. Yeah, so good. Of the first one? Was that? Were you a fan of the first, of, of The Walking Dead? Yes. Good. Totally, like, hugely. So, you know, I mean, my husband and I used to watch it, we get so, so into it. And, um, you know, my husband's a a big guy and he's a he's a dramatic actor and so when uh <laughs> when I got Sarah it was like what like I would have thought he would be the first to have any opportunity in that in that world and lo and behold his comedy wife got in and that was just kind of crazy and <laughs> like he's strong and I'm not <laughs> you know and the job does require you to be strong 
So, you but that, been a but cool. I found out how strong I am. That's the good thing. I didn't, good I didn't know that. until I, I got this, uh, just how, how capable I am of some things. And that's good, especially at my age. It's like, yeah, okay. You can still kick some ass. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you're one of our favorite characters in fear. It's, it's weird. I don't I really hate a character or dislike a character in fear. They're all so good. Like the villain, you know, the villains are so good. And especially, you know, especially Virginia. And I think yeah. for me right now, her and Alpha are the best two Walking Dead universe villains. I agree. Ever. I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah, um, and Colby Minifee, who plays uh, Virginia, is just... Love, love Colby. I need to just, I just... When, when... Yeah, we got to be pals. Uh, you know, we just, um, we have a good time. She's wonderful. It's, 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 you know, it's weird seeing her so happy and, and different in real life. <laughs> and just, just it's so she's, she's got so much energy. Like, she is just so much fun to be around. She's so much fun. Oh, I have the best time with her. She's just a just a delight. How did yeah. um, being cast in Fear the Walking Dead come come about as well? I'll tell you how. Um, I did a movie called Forty uh, Year Old Virgin, Amazing. and I played a character named Gina. Oh, oh. And um, I, you know, I, the casting director would not have called me in for this. You know, it's a dramatic show and I wasn't called in for it and um the producers of the show called casting and said get Mo Collins in and um so I went that day next day you know or that day I was cast and then the next day I went to meet the producers and they said you know that character China and I go yeah and they go her I'm like all right let's go stir some beef and that was it like that was just it's just so crazy that this like improvised three hundred dollar day on forty year old virgin got me this. Like you never know where the gifts are going to come from. You know, that's a, it's it was a beautiful surprise in life. Like oh wow, that's why I did that. You know, that's why. And so long after too, like just I can't remember when just, that came. I watched it not too long because I was. I was going for, I mean, I still like Poor Red, but I was going for a massive, just watching all the Poor Red movies I can on Netflix. And that one was there. I, you know, I've heard of it because of Steve Carell. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize you were in it until Walks of Carlatna, 2019. Because someone said, she was, you know, Mo Collins was in, was in that. I was like, damn. So I, I wasn't like, too big on fear back then, which I yeah. no regret because, you know, I could have met you in person there and, I mean, so much of many of the cast, but it was just, it was a good time. And, you know, I didn't know you were on that until, until. For a second, <laughs> for a second, but, um, but it, it had some impact, which was good. Yeah. You know, yeah. That happens for a reason, doesn't it? Everything. It sure did. And there's that improv of mine, you know, it's like that thing I fell in love with in eighth grade um, has served me well. Definitely, it was just definitely destiny. Yes. Um, you know, as we can, we can't really talk about spoilers, which is, which is different because I'm like, oh, you know, what? I ask other questions because everyone else I've interviewed so far has been dead. <laughs> and I was like, it's 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 different, but I'm I'm excited to do it, and you know, um, yeah. But so so far from what you can tell, what has been your favorite episode to film? Of everything I've done? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, oh, well, my favorite for, uh, was 513 yeah. for me. Um, yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed. That was. I, I like how twisted Sarah went there for a moment. For one thing, I thought it was the coming out of the refrigerator oh, moment. It was- I, I love that. I just thought that was such a perfect Sarah moment. Um, like the there's something comedic about a refrigerator, and, but also just it's so unexpected. It yeah. just sort of says how kind of 
outside the box or refrigerator that she thinks yeah. and can't think. And um, to just have her just zap like that was, it, it was fun to have her go off a little bit and be unexpected. I really like that, uh, you know, cause I, I like thinking of Sarah as this scrappy dog. And um, I like that. I, I like that she got real scrappy in that. Yeah. That was Virginia's first episode, right? That was her first episode, oh, oh, yes. That one, Yeah. Um, that one, the, no, that, it's the same episode. Yeah, that episode and Jeremy, very her, Nick Jasper's leg, and my, probably my favorite two episodes, because it was just, it was just, you guys were there, and just the, the quarry scene was just so, so cool and different. That was oh, intense. Oh God, that was, um, that was uh, one of the hardest ever to shoot. Like it was torture. It was, it was, it was really, really challenging. Uh, I was freezing. It was freezing when we shot that. Uh, it was 28 degrees and we we're soaking wet with the, the, oil, yeah. the oil stuff was soaking wet. And to be out there, like I, I've been chilled to the bone before having grown up in Minnesota, but when you are chilled to the bone for that long, yeah. it was really, um, I don't know. It just sort of went a little, a little further than uh, I really would want as an actor. <laughs> sort of like, can we, we need to be, we need some warmth. It was tough. It was really, really tough. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, you know, there's where I can speak to sort of that. I like when there's that tough and I, and I, I get through it, you know, cause that's my victory at the end of the day. Um, and I can be proud of myself. Uh, I also was very proud because uh, that's me driving the semi for real. And uh, that's cool. even though you couldn't tell in the shots, which bums me out a little bit that you couldn't, you couldn't, you didn't know from how it was edited. Um, Every time you see that truck coming around, that's me driving it. And, and there, you know, the shot coming in with the oil on the windshield yeah. from inside the truck, um, that was crazy because I'm really driving it and I couldn't see and there's walkers outside. And then I had to stop the truck on my mark. I mean, I don't know, I, I did it. Like, I freaking did it. I don't quite know how, in a way. Like, I had to drive that truck down this hill on a rough hill, a really rough hill. You had to hit it just right, because if you go into a divot, semis go over really easily. So, so there was a very, there was a path I definitely had to take, but I couldn't see it because of the oil. And I had to act and say my line. <laughs> it's like, this is this is crazy, but I'm doing time. it. And then I did it. It was like, that was madness, but it worked. Was the, uh, the truck quite hard to, to get the hang of or was it pretty easy? I did, you know, lessons uh, prior. They had me, you know, uh, it wasn't just sort of like show up and you learn, you don't, yeah. you don't get, that doesn't work with a semi. Um, I totally enjoyed my lessons. Cause like I said, I, as a little kid, I wanted to be a truck driver. So it was a little bit of a, a fantasy come to life. Um, yeah, it, those old trucks, you know, they're real, they're, they're rough. It's not, you know, they're not the, they're not the swiftest. It's like, things are uh, uh, sticky and hard. They're hard. Doors are hard to open. Like all of that, it's really, it's really hard and it's really heavy. Um, yeah, but uh, but I did it. <laughs> that is, it, it, like, it's, it's weird that you, you wanted to do that so many years ago and now you're doing it on a yeah. show. I know. And it's just, it's weird how, how many things can uh, go into one. It is, it's crazy. It's just crazy. But yeah, like, oh my God, please don't, let me run over these these walkers you know it's like you know, i was so nervous that i would hit them oh god what was your uh, favorite kill 
from any Ooh. any walker Ooh. because you've you've had so many badass ones. Gosh, um, I really uh, I thought it was so cool, and her name is Kanye. Kanya, Kanya Sesser, who um, she was on the front of the truck. She was oh, half. Yeah. She was the half, and that's that's really her. And uh, she was so badass. Like you know, she doesn't have legs, and mm -hmm. she was propped up. And that truck was going thirty miles an hour, and she was just. Like she's so, she's such a, like she surfs, she's, she's just, uh, and, uh, or, um, skateboards, you know, she's really a true to life badass. So there she is on the front of this semi <laughs> strapped on. And that was awesome. And then to come around, like, that was a interesting, it's like, I don't know. I just thought it was so, so layered. It was just so layered and interesting and to come around and at the same time I'm about to kill her it's also like respect man <laughs> like respect look at you on the front of this thing this is crazy total respect you you, know, you and um Daryl have so much just banner and it is it's, it's always good to see you two on screen even we we haven't seen it much this season unfortunately one one scene but Hopefully we get yeah. yeah, uh, you know, Chill does uh NCIS New Orleans. Yeah, I've seen that on his on his um social media. I haven't, I haven't seen it in a place just... and with COVID and protocols, you can't be uh just you know, we're just not oh, playing around. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, the the calendar of it's like you've got to be someplace to quarantine first and testing on all of that. And um, so it's just like, it just didn't work. Um, and I, yeah, and actually CBS just wasn't, they weren't letting people go do anything else. So he wasn't able to, which was really a bummer. Yeah, cause you know, you've, you started the show together and yeah, done so many scenes of him and you've, I mean, you've had scenes of so many of the, of the great, of the great cast and for you, how do you deal with with the death, like of a of a character? Because some people just like they just you know they like, they don't really get affected. But I know, like I personally would, because I'll just that's me. But like I don't know how you would how you are like for that. Um, I'm a blubbering mess. It turns out, like, and that happened right away. I mean, my uh, the the first one I really experienced that with was Jimbo. Yeah. He wasn't even, you know, regular cast or anything, but this is somebody that I'd done these episodes with. And um, it was, uh, it was really, really hard for me. I, I was, I, I was, the scene up on the roof of the hospital, when he realizes he's bit, um, that entire day, I couldn't, I couldn't stop crying so I couldn't be around him because if I looked at him I got too sad and I mean I just I was just they couldn't even like like I just trying not to cry but I was just absolutely blubbery like I I when he realizes he was bit like it was this my heart broke every single time he did it every single time and I had to stay away from him uh you know, off camera because it was too sad. Oh, do you hear that? That's my wash machine. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It's it. It's not short. This song, my wash machine. It's still Sounds going. Like but um, yeah, I uh, I don't do well. It's just yeah, but it's fun. You know, it's like my character Sarah is probably a lot tougher about it, but Mo is not. Yeah. and so it's um, I have to do my best to keep Mo because it turns out I'm a big crybaby. <laughs> it's 
So, yeah. So no. I mean, I don't. I don't like when they get injured. You know, it's like scenes can. It can all feel so real out there. Obviously, we're in the landscape, and it's easy to, yeah. you know, get into the the play of it. Um, and it really does get like your adrenaline gets going when things are crazy. Um, it just feels so real. And you know, those moments where Sarah's just struggling to help someone or um, it's so intense for Mo. <laughs> um, I really feel it. I really feel protective of them for real. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that, that makes perfect sense. Cause it's just, you know, because I was, I've talked to a couple of people and they, they just, they, they, they don't really, they, like, they really care, but it's just like, to them it's just like, you know, I know they're not really dying, but which is, which is true. But, you know, I would, I would end up being like, you just, I can't look, I can't look at them, you know, even though they're yeah. probably fine. No, I, the entire day with Jimbo, couldn't. That was such just, a unique death because nobody's really killed himself. Yeah, nobody's killed himself that way, really. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah. All of that, like, oh, talking to him when he's up on the roof. I mean, there was just so much, there was so much and it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was dark. It just, it, it just, and he was so brilliant. He was just like, so you believe it, you know, it's like Mo gets swept up into the, into the emotion and the, yeah. and the realness of it because my, fellow performers are so damn good you know that I get I get really emotional in there and uh I have to I have to curb it because uh, Sarah's tougher than that <laughs> it's, it's just I absolutely love the fear cast they're all they're all so just you know people just it's completely different now to the main show which I love and it's getting darker which is which is even better because the first two yeah. seasons were were all right, and it you know the, yeah. now it's just you know, it's gotten like, really good. It, I mean, to me, it, it has the that dark feel of like what the reason I fell in love with The Walking Dead. Yeah, you know, it to me it kind of has that same I don't know the same drive, and I really like it. Definitely. And you know, with the anthology episodes, I think people are getting more invested into the characters. Yeah, which is good. Um, it is, after all, a, a human story. Um, yeah. Oh, our cast is so good. And I just love them. I need to, hopefully they can, they can come back to, to more conventions and they can come to, have you, ever, have you ever been asked to come to a UK convention yet? No, and I'm dying to go. Oh. Um, I've never been, I've never been there. You haven't? Nope. Yeah, I'll definitely. I'll, um, I'm sure there's loads of people that want to meet the fear cast. We've we've had walk stalkers here, and a few other Walking Dead guests at other cons, but not not a lot of, of fear really. Yeah, no, I would love to go. Definitely. Yeah, it'd be, so good, it'd be good to it'd be good to meet you and meet you know the rest. The I've, I've met Maggie because then I met I met her for Lost. Oh yeah. And that was just, it's so weird seeing her and that and, and this, a completely yeah. two different, different characters. Yeah. Have you um, had any creative say on, you know, how she dresses or um, Sarah's personality or, or her um, nicknames? Uh, yes, yes, I have. Um, but I'm, I'm all, I've, no matter what project, I'm on I'm always very involved with uh the look you know um I mean for instance when I first walked into my first fitting for fear and she had a line of clothes and uh, the entire rack I just said that's not it that's not it it was completely different than how I needed her to be it was completely different and um thankfully uh Joe was completely loose with me. She went and she pulled out uh, this pair. She's like, well, I've got these coveralls. And if you want to try these. And um, I, I couldn't believe it because literally if you went into my Google search, I had 1970s denim coveralls in my 
Google search for myself. Like, <laughs> so it was sort of, there's Mo and Sarah coming together. Um, and yeah, it's like, um, you know, I wanted stuff on my wrist. The hat was theirs and that was fun. I like that. Um, the glove was my idea. Um, and I took, there were these the gloves and I took it because I, I wanted, you know, if she's a truck driver, I thought, well, that could be good. They wouldn't let me do two because somebody else is doing two. So I said, but at least one, she's a, she is a truck driver. Um, and I took and cut the finger of the glove, but I saved that. And that's the, the ring that you see Sarah wear around here. Yeah. The pinky, because I wanted to just start in a place where Sarah, um, keeps things or or is resourceful you know it's just sort of representing a, a certain resourcefulness of her um take nothing for granted keep it everything you can you know just like so uh and i've lost it on set three times and three times it has returned to me in the most peculiar ways um which i've found very interesting but um still have it um but i have it around a chain now good because i'm i'm like <laughs> i can't leave it again three you know three's a charm as they say and i just thought oh i don't i can't i can't lose it did so, you um, pick any of the nicknames for the for the i did not just to be clear i did not pick momo momo yeah. it that was not mine that and everybody thinks it is and it definitely isn't in fact when i first saw that i thought well that's my my, my name being mo i thought well that's is is that going to be confusing or um weird or something you know uh because some of my best friends call me momo yeah and uh it's a very endearing name to me meanwhile lenny james cannot stand it so, you know, I give him a lot of shit about it now because I'm like, Lenny, that's my, that's my nickname. I love that name. It's, it's awful. It's awful. I'm like, Len, he hates it. He just hates it, which, uh, of course, only leads the writers to put it in more just sure. for fun, for fun. Um, trying to think. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm always, you know, because of my improv background, I look for the moments where, um, where I can have some, some fun and either they use things or they don't, which yeah. is fun. Uh, yeah. Cause I'll be there, Sarah, I, I think Sarah's like the, is just an Abraham kind of character. They, you know, they're yeah. both funny. They both have their, their funny quotes. And mm -hmm. was that, was that, I guess that was intended or, or just, just Oh, the, the Abraham thing. I don't know if it was, in, I don't think it was intended. Um, I think it was just sort of to have this, I mean, Sarah was, Sarah and Wendell were brought in to bring lightness to the dark, yeah. you know, um, that that's, and comedy is obviously the um, tool to do that. Uh, but yeah, she's got some great lines and the blue collarness of her, you know, she's just quick witted. Um, she's a peach. <laughs> she is. Just, 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 I can't think of it off my head now, but there's just, she has so many just, like she just says it how, the, says it how it is and just does not. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's colorful. Wanna be. Just colorful, but, but they're also, they're, uh, I like them because they still, um, there's a smartness to them, you yeah. know? She's not just blue, you know, or crude for crude sake. There's, there's a twist to it that leaves you to believe it comes from a place of intelligence. Yeah. And I like that. Definitely. Yeah. Did, um, did you know you're gonna be in it for as long or was it like, you know, you go in and be one, two episodes or? You never know. Yeah, you never know. Um, when I first came on, you know, very first came on, um, I, I did know I would be doing five episodes. Yeah, cause, cause I know some people get, you know, that's it and then. Yeah, so in my, in my brain, I was just like, awesome, five episodes yeah. of a show I love. Uh, and then it ended up being six and uh, I lived. So that was great. 
you know, but you never, you never know. <laughs> you know, know, you know, you live, you know contracts mean nothing. You never know. True. You yeah. Know. Especially on the walking dead. It's terrifying. I mean, there is, there really is that element of, you know, dear God, you know, <laughs> That's the old fear because they just, yeah, they've, they've killed so many of the, of the yeah. bigger characters, which is, completely different than the main show now because you know Carol and Dan yeah. only and you know some of that comes down to an actor's choice and some yeah. of it is not and um but yeah but look you know the thing about that is that's partly what makes sh these shows exciting too exactly yeah because you don't know, you what know we are. couldn't they wouldn't they wouldn't bear the weight that they do if there wasn't this high level of loss yeah definitely people wouldn't be in, as invested as as they are and they're invested because they want people to live but in this environment people die you know and uh so that has to be a reality of it and that is partly what's great about these shows and why they do so well because it is life and death definitely that's 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 what i love about the main each show because you know even if even if you're a one episode character you could get the most iconic death like you could get the pike death in the main show right which is you new know, is what a, what a way to go yeah you, you've seen that far uh um, was that me or you that was me that was on my, on my laptop sorry um it's all right i was just there um you've, uh yes yes yeah best episode yeah oh god Oh God, I mean, just, whoa. Yeah, but again, harsh, so harsh, especially when it's a character you just yeah. love. But these wouldn't be, this show wouldn't be as great oh. without that. That is just, you know, it's sort of like owning a pet. <laughs> oh yeah. You love your pet. We get them even though we know their lives are not as long as ours and there will be loss and yet we get them. It's you like that. Them. We still get, we'll get another one. You know, it's like, damn it. We do it like every time you get a new pen, it's like, why am I doing this to myself again? This is heartbreak, True. you know, but we do it, but we do it. And so people, and hopefully anyway, people keep watching, you know, and maybe there's another person that you, yeah, and get to know more, you know, it's like, there's always, hopefully anyway, characters come along that are new to people that they can, invest in and yeah yeah because you know is you know season 11 is the last season of the main show i don't know about fear yet or the other potential spin-off which is i'm i'm glad because you know we've got you know definitely one more season of fear and i you know if when one's gone i can't it's gonna be hard to be like, nope all gone you know no fear <laughs> no walking dead <laughs> the other spin-off is only two seasons and then, did you know about the the Caro and Daryl spinoff? Yeah. And there's the one where potentially you could, anyone, I think anyone could get a backstory. It's called Tales of the Walking Dead, I think. Oh, I and, don't know if I knew about that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I think if I'm correct, it's like one episode each. Oh, and wow. Not, and not every character, but it's, you know, certain characters. And that, that'd be interesting to see backstories. Yeah. People that we it's have amazing done. how long this whole thing has gone. I mean, you know, 10 seasons, 11 seasons, it's like, but also it's been more years than that, hasn't it? Since yeah, it's it's been, it started in 2010, I think. Yeah, 2010. Yeah, so it's like, that's amazing. I always think, man, Gilligan's Island was one season, <laughs> wasn't it? One season, I, Gilligan, or I, no, Star I, Trek, I'm sorry. Star Trek was one season. And right. look at and that still exists. Like it's just so. It's just. It's amazing. extraordinary that it's gone this long, but people really, really invest. It's amazing. Definitely. Yeah. If any character, if Sarah could cross over to the main show, who would, who would you like to have scenes with or have a have a storyline with? Well, I love Carol. I'm a big Carol fan. Yeah. Um, well, for shits and giggles, Josh McDermott. Yeah. 
he's actually he's a friend of mine awesome. so um i knew him before he got that show in fact uh he was in an improv group and i was his director right. <laughs> so um obviously i was very proud when all of a sudden he showed up i'm like no way that is amazing i knew when he was in the group i'm like yeah he's super talented um and there he was and then it was so cool when i got it and i saw him at a convention i'm like dude <laughs> like what are the chances of this so cool you've been you've been to to how many walk stalkers was alana your only one two 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 and then the world you know collapsed yeah, the world ended shit yeah. and i love those like I, you know um that was that world was just sort of starting for me and um yeah in fact i think there i had some on the books but they went away you know that was really sad and uh god when uh, who knows right like who knows when does that start up i don't know i think um november potentially um, yeah oh. And that's yeah. a couple of walking dead people, which is which is good because I haven't met I haven't met Kari, um, Ezekiel. I you know I'll, oh. I need to get more fear cast there because just is you know I, I've missed you guys in Atlanta because you well, know. yeah. Well, I feel like you know there wasn't as much ask to have fear go to the yeah. abroad, you know abroad, but I do feel like now there's sort of this resurgence happening with fear, partly because of what's happening with season six, because it is so, it's so rich. Um, I think, I think that might change that invite list. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm down to come back to America, obviously, but we need you guys and more UK cons. And... I, I need to get there. I want to go there. I will, I will, I will pester. Uh, oh yeah um I, there's a couple that that have like all oh, walk soakers is no more but yeah. there's other ones where you like you would like i would always recommend to everyone because i don't know what kind of movie you like or tv show you like but there will oh be my god. There. Well, I, oh my god they'd be there i'd be crazed yeah, my shows would probably be there the stuff i love all my yeah. british shows it and is, I want to go over with Karen David. <laughs> because oh, she, um, uh, Grace. Yes. I want to go with her because she then can show me around. Yeah, she. I was going to meet her at the um, the last LFCC in 2019, but I just didn't, didn't get the chance because it was just so, a, such a hectic calm. But yeah, I, so she, she's my pal. So I, we would have... We would love that, and our, our husbands get along great too. So we we would have fun just visiting too. Yeah, you would. I would. I would definitely recommend coming. Oh, I wouldn't come here. Come to Plymouth because it's just so boring. But I would. You know, I've been to. You would love. You would love London if you've never been. If, if, I've never been. Like, yeah, the only place been. I've I've been to um, Ireland and I've been to uh, the Amalfi Coast. That's it. In Rome. I've got a couple of questions. Or a, a, yeah. I've got a few from um, like Twitter and uh, my friend if, okay. if I'll pay to ask. Let's I've got do one it. From, you, you, you know uh, Sharon D. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, she did this one, which I think is quite funny. If you could give me a nickname, do you know what? Me, yeah. Tell me your name again. Tyler. Tyler Cox, right? Yeah. Cox of the walk? Walks, Cox the talks? <laughs> we get, we, my family get Coxie quite a lot because just. Coxie. You know, Coxie's a great nickname. Yeah, I, I even get Coxie or Ty. That's not enough. Coxie's good. <laughs> Ty. Do you know what you would like Sarah's ending to be? If you, if you picked it, is there a way you would like to, I guess, is there a, a way you'll like to go or survive? <laughs> well, obviously, survive. survive. Um, I, uh, geez. Hmm. 
Mm, it's just so tough. I've always thought like um, just something a, a, a comical. I mean, a, a dark oh, yeah. comedy, a dark comedy. Yeah. That, that would be a very Sarah way to go. Mm. Yeah. With some wry comment just or, or maybe yeah. like you think she's dead and then there's one last pop up and one last awesome line. Um, I guess as uh, another walk on main, main show question, is Carol your favorite character or is another character your favorite main show character? Main show, uh, Carol has been my favorite. Yeah, and I mean, that's, you know, I mean, just from the beginning, I guess, partly, you know, I can, I, I identify more with her, obviously, you know, we're similar age and so, you know, I lock into but her. But badass. But badass. I do. I, it would be so cool if you guys did just be together because Carol is just, I love Melissa and what she's doing. Yeah, she's amazing. You, you would be great together. I think we would. You know, you get two women together who uh, are badass and also um, supportive and no egos. Definitely, yeah. Let's see what happens. Take, take, you both take no take shit. Take over the world. <laughs> in, your, in, the, in, the, in the truck. Kill oh my workers. God. Yeah, how great. That's what I want. I want a Sarah and Carol spin off. Not a, Sa not a Carol and Daryl one. Carol and Sarah. Yeah, Sarah, yeah it'll be like, uh, oh, Thelma and Louise. <laughs> um, go, off a, go off a cliff in a truck, but survive. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't lose you both. <laughs> there's been too much there. Uh, I, I can't lose I can't lose you guys now yeah right someone called DJ Fitz, yeah, Fitzgerald uh, said what kind of character traits did you have uh, in, of Sarah in your own in your own you know life yeah I, I actually saw they had put that on on Twitter I think it was and I really like this question because Sarah has um, served me really well and I think that Mo serves Sarah. And for example, like, um, you know, um, on days when I'm not feeling great or energetic, I suffer suffered from depression all my adult life and things like this. And if I'm not feeling strong, I have Sarah take me for a walk. Yeah. And she's just like, come on, Mo. And I'm walking taller. And all of a sudden I get, I get her breath in me and, and her strength and my, and she makes Mo's day better. My day. Um, she's really served. She's really lifted me up in my personal life. I've, you know, when I look at geez, Mo, you know, Sarah does these hard days on set and that is really you, you know? So it's like, this is actually you doing that. So buck up and, Buck up and put your Sarah boots on. Yeah. She really serves me that way. And and then also, I think that Mo serves Sarah in that, um, you know, my my weeping, bleeding heart. Um, <laughs> my, you know, um, helps helps her sometimes. I think I where Sarah, like the character, might not be able to show some things. Mo knows how to put it through a little bit more than Sarah might be able to. Um, but I'll also say this, Sarah is the closest to myself I've ever played. That's good. And that's partly why I love her so much because it's giving me the opportunity to, uh, to like myself more, you know, and to discover more about myself in a way that I find very appealing, especially growing older. You know, it's like, to look at Sarah and, um, God, I've always hated seeing myself on camera. And here I am, there's, there's no makeup. It's about as schlubby as you can be. And I just go, yeah, that's, that's good. Like, yeah, I like that. I like that. All that age, all the stuff you got going on. I like her. So yeah, she's helping. Because, um, you guess she's the most invested you've been into a character, right? Because 
Is she the longest character you played, or have you, did, you, did you play Lorraine and thing and? Um... No, she, she's definitely the most invested that I've ever gotten to be with a character. I mean, you know, how much can you invest in Lorraine? Um, I did her for years, and I, I mean, Jesus, I've, I've been doing her for years. Um, but it's different, yeah. you know. She's just putting on a wig and clucking around, but. Um, but Sarah, I think about, like, I think about how does she feel? How does she operate? Um, yeah. And, uh, and so, and when you spend that time, you know, you do fuse with your character. You can't help it. You, and you do put yourself into, you do put yourself into it. I don't know what else to put into her other than myself. Yeah. So um, I put myself into her and uh, we get, I get to know myself better. I get to understand Sarah more because she becomes more akin to myself in some ways. Um, but yeah, I dig her. We all do. If you if you don't like Sarah, then you should just just <laughs> just go. Jet off. Pretty just, much, yeah. Just fuck off. Fuck or off. As, you know, as the British say, "Bugger off." Bugger off. Um, <laughs> I've got a couple more questions from um, from uh, Sharon Lee because I you know I was I. I I talked to her quite a bit through, you know, through Instagram because I she already she knows She's you amazing. very well. She's awesome. She's yeah. number one fans material, you know. Definitely, uh, she's really hard to compete awesome. with as far as fan world goes. She's yeah, she's hardcore fear, which I like. She's hardcore fear, hardcore love. If you could play, if you could play a character from a classic. Literature, who would you play? Ooh. Hmm. Puck. Who's Puck. that? Puck. Shakespeare. Oh. Puck. I need to know more. I feel bad. I don't even I don't really know who that is. All right. <laughs> but yes, um, yeah, I mean, I suppose they, uh, you know, everybody would be like Lady Macbeth, but it's like, mm, I don't know. I think I'm more interested in the male roles. She would like the answer. She always. But in a woman's body. True. Mm -hmm. well, uh, I can't remember if you for this. What inspired you to be an actress? Was it the mad, the cartoon or your TV as a kid? Well, Carol Burnett is my number one inspiration you know I used to we weren't we didn't we didn't really weren't able to watch much tv growing up in my house but we watched the Carol Burnett show as a family on Saturday nights and I remember going oh that has to be just the best life ever like just playing with your friends and laughing together like they're laughing they're sharing that with us even you know um that but of course like I said I Never thought that could be a reality, and it literally was doing Mad TV. I literally got to do exactly that yeah. the comedy with an audience and an ensemble. Like, that was, I got to do it. How lucky am I? Um, but yeah, Carol Burnett was, was my, uh, my inspo. Good. Because yeah. you know, I know I was, I was watching your interview with um, Johnny. Uh huh. And it was it was quite interesting. You have the the Maureen and the and the and the Mo, Maureen and Mo, quite fascinating to to hear about and you know like the Jacqueline High, like like he said, which is just really fascinating for. Yeah, if you, my yeah. if Mr. Hermiting hadn't named me Mo and allowed this extrovert to come out of Maureen, you know, um, all of this wouldn't exist. <laughs> I I completely agree with being. And understand with being so shy because you know when before before all these I was super shy and I'm, you know then cons happened and then yeah now I have I'm doing this which I didn't think I'll ever do and it's it's I was I was super nervous today because yeah because I've you know I've I I've met you know I, meeting meeting the people don't really is like it's still quite nerve wracking still but then the first big interview because you know I've never had a, a live character uh a, a main character because you know you know you made it in the show when you have a 
uh, a poster, which is it's pretty cool. Yeah. I've, it, it was like, right, what do I do? What do I say? And I'm just... It's so funny. Like, I mean, I get it. Like, I think, you know, if I... I'd be so nervous if I saw Carol Burnett. Yeah. You know? Like, I know I'd go right back to being my shy, scared self. Um, so I guess I get it. And yet, as I'm sitting here... And you're sitting there, I go, God, there's just no reason for you to be nervous about yeah, talking. Like, it's so good. Yeah, to this, you know, like me just like sitting here in my little my stick behind me. And <laughs> I keep wishing the roosters would come by while I'm talking to you. That would be roosters. Cool. Huh? That would be pretty is it better? So cold? No, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. But that was a crazy week. That was crazy. Just yeah. crazy. Just, uh, I mean, I'm from Minnesota, which, you know, gets 50 below there. This state just was not prepared. You know, the leaders of the state have left the people with inadequate, uh, yeah. you know, with, without winter, they did not have winterized, um, well, roads, power situation when you know the the wind and the gas what else like um yeah the the water the water went out we were it's boiling frozen. water it was all frozen over. Pipes froze so pipes froze um but then the water the water plant went down too and got full of bacteria so you had to boil your water Wow. to to do any cooking or cleaning um so there, you know not a lot of baths or as we cleaning out the slum areas is what we did or as my mother called it the horror's bath um <laughs> uh, but it was really they just they failed the people here it's really sad and and people lost their life as a result like that i'm mortified i'm mortified that people lost their life I'm mortified by it. Like an 11 year old boy froze to death in his bed. Pardon my French, but what the fuck? Who would lie? I, no one, no 11 year old boy no. should freeze to death in his bed. So I did not know that, it's just awful. It's awful. There were multiple, there were a lot of deaths, a lot. So I hope that they get their shit together and winterize things because uh, yes, climate change is real. <laughs> if not, go Sarah on their ass. I will go Sarah on their ass. Get your, uh, get I, your pipe and... I will drive that semi straight up. His name, but just, you know. Yeah. You don't want this 18-wheeler coming up at you. <laughs> no. But we I think I... Put him... Uh, you do not want that coming at you. Not at all, no. no I no. think that's pretty much it. You know, it's, it's it's been really fun, and you know, the first the first big one for me. So I'm. Well, you did I'm great. Glad to see you. Thank you. You did great, Coxie. <laughs> I'm glad it's been you because you just you know you've been one of my favorite characters for since you started. I was like, thank you. I don't know how to ask. You know, like I was like, do you just tweet them? Do you? Do whatever, mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's you know, no harm in trying, and you know, it, no. it worked. Either but. people can, or they can't, or they feel like it, or they don't. But yeah, absolutely. I was, you know, it's like there you were. It's like yeah. I'm glad, just especially now, you know, you, for me, I'm I, home work, home work, home work, home work. Where do you work? I work in a, in a um, support. I support adults with autism. You do. Yeah. So it's it's quite it could be quite challenging. I just fin I just finished a, a shift uh, this morning. Really, I did a, a a night wake where you stay up. I started at ten in, in the afternoon at night and finished nine in the morning. Where you just stay up. I mean, you do fuck all because you know, they're in bed. But it's it's when the day shifts could be could be a challenge and it's so challenging. I. I have a number of friends, you know, with 
uh, autistic children, some of them are, are severely yeah. autistic. And I mean, the challenges I know uh, you are, you're a good one, Ty. Thank you. It's, it's good. I love it. I, you know, it's, yeah, it's, you're a hero. You're, you're, you know, some, some people just, they're just heroes. Like you just, that's where you went and that makes you a hero. Yes. Perfect. You're that. Thank you. You're that guy. I love my job. Pardon? You're that guy. You're that hero guy. I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, take it. It's, it's just the best job. Like, I, oh, so you know, good. I don't, you know, I, I just obviously I want to do more, but it's just like, you help them, you know, you, you make them, you know, I, I work with more severe or like they, they can't speak. So you find new ways, you know, even with, even with COVID, I try and like do what I can with the resources like what I've got. You're so good. Thank you. You're so good. I, I love, I love meeting uh, earth angels. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 10 o'clock. That's all right. It's, it's four for you now, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh God, 10 o'clock for you. Isn't time funny like that? It is. It's, it's so confusing. It's, you know, it's six hours for you, which, yeah. which is, because I've got a couple of friends in different states. So I call your time Michael time, because that's where my friend Michael lives. <laughs> uh, then my girlfriend lives in Indiana, so that's five hours. So that's Shelby time. And my friend Connor mm. is in California, so that's Connor time. Well, do you have to go to work now? No, um, I I start at nine in the morning, so um, okay. I don't mind. I could. I'm not even tired. I'm high on adrenaline now. I'm just it's been a it's been a really good a really good time, and I hope things get better for for you. And I hope uh, you know. I hope you've been working right still on fear. We can't say anything. Can't say anything. I know, Ty. I'm sorry. I know because it, it, it looks good, and if you die, then I'm just gonna. I will literally, even if it's illegal, fly over, and then just. I expect that now. All right. Well, if you over there die, I'm gonna fly over. There. I, I I don't want over there to die. Yeah. I love. I, love I expect some, a riot. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna. I'll do it. <laughs> I will. I will Make it happen, oh, okay. in Texas, right? Mm -hmm. in Texas and everything's in Texas. Yep, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go there. I'll just fly, you know. Mm -hmm. really cool. <laughs> Perfect. It's been good having you on the show. I. Oh, it's been lovely to be here. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much, Ty. This was really a delightful chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I oh, should have this up. What's the date today? Third Wednesday. Friday, either to put it out tomorrow because I'm busy at work, but I'll probably upload it Friday or Saturday. And I'll, uh, if you want, I'll email you the link. In. Oh, please do. I'm taking your picture. <laughs> Thank you very That's much. Up. Thank you. Have a good day. Um, you too. Stay uh, safe. Keep, it, keep in touch, Ty. Will do. You too. All right. Thank Be you. well. Bye bye.